So we are in week 72 now. Andy's been very busy sanding his wood. <laughs> so you bought um, some different, uh, some better sandpaper as well, your own issues. Bought a sander as well. And you bought a sander, which is coming next week. So yeah, we've got all this unfinished wood, oak. Um, so you're sanding it up to give the beveled edge and then um, putting two coats of Danish oil on and then we're going to do an hard wax on top because um, it's not enough for flooring to have just this oil. Um, we've been walking, it's, it needs a sort of wax finish really. So that's like going to be the final coat. So we're all doing an hard wax. Um, it's three for two on a and q as well. I can't believe it on paint. Um, until like 1st of November, I think it is. So, and it's been and bought lots of paint. So we've got all like fire and ball paints. And we've also got some colour match ones. So we thought after we've done two coats of white on the walls, um, we would then do the first coat in a colour match when needed. Well, off and then yeah, we'll particularly off black because um, that's for the cinema room. So we're just going to use that, aren't we? Yeah. But then, Absolutely. and then the top, and then the final coat would be the proper fire and ball. Mm -hmm. But because we've got the paint sprayer, we're probably it's going to give a good finish anyway. Mm. Like whether it was a colour match or probably I think it's just it. a little bit easier um, when you're painting to get the higher quality paint. I might be wrong, but <laughs> that's what so, some people say. Yeah. Um, we have gone for the higher quality mixing. Yeah. They do two the, different types. The creme de la creme. It's V700 and they do one called V500 and this one's the better one, so. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what we've been doing so far this week. Um, and we've got the express coat that we're going to put on the first two coats. Uh, one of my friend's fellas is a plasterer and she was like, oh, you are definitely doing a coat of white before you start on colours, aren't you? I was like, yes, 100%. So yeah, we'll um, we're gonna spend today Saturday going around and doing all the prep for oh, the windows. Prep we, need to do. we were gonna do. Um, <laughs> we were gonna start this morning. It's one o'clock now, but I've got a hangover. So, yeah, the prep we need to do is there's a few splashes which need scraping off. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. Because they've done the upstairs last. There's a few splashes down here. So there's need to... laser on that side. Well, it's not. It's not what you can see, but you can feel. You've no, got to go around and sand it all. It's dried right. no, really well though. Like this um, downstairs, for example, this has been done probably over a week of it. I can't even remember yeah, how many days. Week, yeah. yeah. Um, they finished last Friday. Yeah. I would totally just uh, polish this up and have this as the finish, <laughs> as the finish fall. But you wouldn't. I would. But yeah, it is looking pretty cool. I can't wait to just get all the scaffolding down and properly be able to see everything. And we really need to give the stairs a good clean in the sand. <laughs> We're going to see what the stairs actually, because we want to have um, concrete exposed and have wood treads, that, but leave a bit of the concrete. But we're going to see how it sands up, yeah. make sure that it's fine yeah, for doing that. There's micro cement out. option if needed. But... We shall see with that. Mm. But yeah, we're going to crack on with window prep now. We've got our overalls ready for tomorrow. <laughs> we'll get some footage of us in them. Looks like we're going to murder somebody. So far, so good with the window prep. And then we've done this side. Mm. Not taking long. And he's just doing the uh, landing window. I'm saying that one's going to be fun to do. Got to set up um, scaffolding to do that one. Yeah, so we should get the rest of the window prep done today and then crack on with the paint spray in tomorrow. Yeah, we're ready. Well, Andy's almost ready. He's going to to cover his hair. I don't know why I look so much more ridiculous in mine than you look like in yours. Because you're a bumper. <laughs> yeah, mine's like, I had to paint more for mine because I had to get small. I had to order one online because I didn't have any in the shops. Yeah, so we're ready. Um, Attaching um, stirrer to his drill bit, and uh, we're going to give this paint a good stir. And then we're ready to crack on. So, first step, 
we've got all these nuts, tight enough, so it's all good to go. We've got the right filter in for the tip that we're using. So we get it lined up, drop that in. So that's the good thing about it, it just goes straight to pot, so I'm going to pour it in a container like this. So we're plugged in, so it's to prime. So it's when it's pointing down, it's prime. So that's the first thing you do is to fill all these tubes up. And then it says to put it to uh, one. take this last bit of packaging off because the tube is a little bit kinky there so I'm going to straighten it out. I don't want kinky pipes. Don't like kinky pipes. <laughs> we'll just adjust that. Better. So that's prime used to fill up the, these pipes. We now need to fill up the actual spray gun in the pipe. So we now turn it to spray, back to just one. So that's built the pressure up now, so it's ready to spray. So when I start spraying now, it'll just fill up and you'll hear the, the motor really kicks in when it needs to build up the pressure, so it'll go. That's it. So yeah, it's all good. So now we've got the nozzle on tight now with the tip in. So that's the 517 tip, which is for sort of normal wall and floor paint, wall and ceiling paint. Um, so we tighten that up and we put it onto the side, facing that way. So we, we want to go up and down. But, but you can do an horizontal if you... that way if you want to go side to side. So. Yeah, I think that's more like fence panels, stuff like well, that. I think we'll probably do that for the top corners. Yeah. If we'll go around the edge. Uh, or I will, so you can't reach. Oh, just not um, we'll up and down, we'll do it that way. And yeah. I've just brought a piece of chipboard up, so we'll do a quick practice spray just to make sure yeah. it's through okay. Uh, well, that should be it, ready to go. Okay, let's have a practice. Yeah. Do this. So this is the first time we're going to use it, let's get it going. Wow. That's really impressive. That looks like a really good finish as well. <laughs> amazing. That looks oh, I'm so glad we bought this. It's make it wow. So easy. That is amazing. So let's do this. <laughs> Yeah, and now we can move on to the middle section. The landing's going to be a little bit more interesting. So 
we've finished upstairs. Our bedroom, the landing, that was fun. Doing the, the books window. Ooh. Um, got the scaffolding set up for that. Yeah, so all in, it's taken um, three or four hours enough to do upstairs. And then we'll do a couple of coats of the colours that we're going to go with. But really impressed with the finish. The spray has worked really well. Um, occasionally when you go a little bit too low with the paint, it'll stop working and you'll need to release the pressure and start it up again. And like the pipe, like the paint run through the pipe again. But other than that, no problem with it. Occasionally you will get some little splashes where the pressure, when you release the pressure. So we've just got a little mini roller that we'll get, we'll um, use that for any of those bits. Um, it'll be interesting to see what it's like with the colours when we use like a specific colour in different areas, but the backsplash, splash back even, <laughs> used to say kitchen backsplash, um, shouldn't be too much. So if we use tape quite well, like in the film, it should work okay. But yeah, we just need to give it a clean now. So I don't know where Andy's gone, but we're going to do that and then do downstairs tomorrow, hopefully. So now tidy up, clean it up. This is the bit we weren't sure about when we bought it, I guess, wasn't it? It's like how easy it is to clean up each day. Also, the only thing that's not been reliable is your overalls. Oh, yes, don't <laughs> so I'm not wearing them. Really it literally is like ripped all the way down one side. Yeah, I don't even know what you're doing. I mean, look at you. <laughs> anyway, carry on. Yeah, so we <laughs> the cleaning process, so it looks fairly easy. It's just a case of flushing loads of water and getting clean. Yeah. Um, we've got splashes all over which we'll get off with the wipe. Um, it's just a case of emptying it out now. So, first job is these clips to hold it in place. They just loosen off when it pulls out. Um, it's not dripping, so that's good. Same on that side. So that's good. What would you do if it was dripping? <laughs> to clear it out. Yeah. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to go and rinse this off first really, because otherwise that'll just make all the water paint covered. So I'm going to go and run some water through this separately and then we can clean the machine out. Don't drip it everywhere then. No. So that was quite easy to do, just flushed it through water, filter just came off and I just pulled the water all the, through, all the way through both tubes so the clear so you can see when they're clean inside. And one thing I was impressed with was there was hardly anything caught on the filter, which is obviously sucking through the paint. There can't be many bits or anything bad in the paint that's been pulled through, so that's good. I'm impressed with that. Then we'll put it back on the machine now and we'll start flushing it through. <clears throat> Take the nozzle off and clean that separately. I can get it off. A lot of videos spent watching you taking things off. Probably. <laughs> Mine's all slippy here, so. There we go. So I'll clean all that separately. Put it on the side. Now it's on. I'm going to put it to spray. I'm going to prime it first, get some water flowing through.
separate these two tubes out. I'm going to flush the dirty plug into this one. Through the um, prime. 